Hello, and welcome to the new video. I hope you will love it, and you will go down below, you will click the heart, and you will click subscribe, and that will help you know when I put out new videos. Today, we're talking about a new word that didn't even exist <laughs> until these masks came along. The new word is maskne. Have you heard of this word? Have you heard of maskne? It's M-A-S-C-N-E, maskne. It is the acne that people are getting. Ooh, nose. Masks make my nose itch, which is why I use a mask spray. Go see the mask spray video. Um, and you'll see why you really, really want to make a mask spray. But today we talk about maskne, M-A-S-C-N-E, okay? People are breaking out, they're getting zits, they're getting raw pieces of their skin, blood vessels are breaking, all these things underneath their mask, okay? The reason why the acne is developing on the lower area of the mask, or the face, is because you have had to wear a mask for an extended period of time. It's a real word with a real definition now. Okay, so that's what the definition is. I'll read it to you again. Mask, ac it is AKA mask acne that develops in the lower air face area as a result of wearing a mask for an extended period of time. So what happens? Why does this happen? When you're wearing your mask, oops, upside down, all of the time and some people because of their jobs have to wear them all of the time some people um, only have to wear them some of the time and some lucky people get to stay home and never have to wear one but um, I have to wear mine a lot of the time at work um, I'm a pediatric occupational therapist so unless I am in my office by myself um, if I go out and about in the clinic or if I'm treating kids I have to wear a mask I have not had an issue with maskne yet, but I do believe it's because of the products that I'm using. Um, so why do we get maskne? Let's start there. Ma the mask is trapping moisture, because all of your air going in and out is making that moist. It's trapping sweat, because we get hot. We all know we get hotter when we have our masks on. And it's trapping oils and dirt really close to our skin. And then having it there over a period of time is causing our skin to break out. The blemishes that happen can be acne, they can be small bumps, they can be inflamed hair follicles or, or hair follicles that are getting clogged. Um, it can be irritation, broken blood vessels, contact dermatitis. All these things can be happening because we have to wear these, okay? So what do you need to do to avoid maskne? Well, you need to be on top of your skincare routine for number one. And then you probably need to add some things to your skincare routine. So let's talk about a little bit what you can do if you're having maskne problems or if you want to make sure that you don't have maskne problems. So number one, wash your mask every day. Okay, keep the mask clean so that the parts of the mask touching your face are not dirty and adding to the problem. Okay, I wash mine in Thieves dishwashing detergent, like uh, the liquid that you can put in the sink, or I'll use Thieves cleaner, anything with Thieves in it, because it's going to kill all the yucky stuff at the same time, right? So I do have a video on this YouTube channel about the Thieves cleaner. So you can go check that out. Um, you can also go check out my video on getting toxins out of your life. I know it's a little longer, but stick with it because everything you're putting on here is touching your face all day. So if you are using things that have certain ingredients in them, then you're increasing your chances for getting mask me. Okay. Okay. So clean your mask every day. That's step one. Two, if you have to wear it all day and no one is ever going to see the area under the mask, don't put makeup on there. Put Do eye makeup? I know so many people that are doing this right now. They do makeup from here up, and there's no makeup from here down because they have to wear their mask all day. And um, they might blend a little bit here, but they really don't put a lot of makeup on the bottom because 
it's just one more thing that can contribute to the mask knee. If you are going to wear makeup, don't put thick, heavy makeup on. Stick to breathable, light makeup. A mineral foundation is better. I use um, Savvy Minerals makeup from Young Living. They do have a liquid also, but it is a, a lighter and a more natural version of a liquid, but they have also the mineral powder version of the makeup. And I have found, I've worn both, and I still, like I said, I still have not had mask knee issues wearing either of those, but I have found that I don't feel as hot underneath my mask if I'm wearing the mineral foundation, the powder version. So, Savvy Minerals, I'll be making another video hopefully before too long. And I will go over all of the Savvy Minerals makeup and why it is your better option than any other makeup on the market, um, guaranteed. So, that's two things. Wash your mask, either don't wear makeup or make sure you're wearing very light makeup underneath your mask. Number three, wash your skin very well. You, this is where your skincare routine is going to come in. Um, Young Living has several options. We have an art cleanser, we have a, very, a brand new, which is an amazing, you should check it out, Bloom is the brand, is the name of the cleanser. You will also have an Orange Blossom Face Wash, which is meant for oily and kind of zit prone skin, okay? More teenage skin. Well, most of us are having that type of skin right now, at least from the nose down. So that might be a really good one to look into as well. And then the, the second step is your toner. So Art has a toner and Bloom has a toner. Um, and the toner is going to close up your cells while they're clean, okay? So if you don't use a toner, you're actually leaving your uh, skin cells and follicles open longer. So anything else you put on has a better chance of stopping up those pores and clogging your pores. So toner is also a very important part. Um, and then Young Living also has an acne cream. Don't know if y'all are aware of that. A little tiny too because it a little bit goes a really long way if you want to actually spot treat certain areas you can get the acne cream and spot spot um, spot treat those areas as well okay another suggestion in your skincare routine is a couple of times a week don't do it every day it's a little too harsh on your skin two to three times a week maybe you can use a scrub to really exfoliate and get those um, skin cells dead skin dead skin cells off, sorry, brain not working, um, and kind of get a fresh start. So Young Living's facial scrub that has um, the actual like grittiness to it is the Satin Mint Facial Scrub. Can I just say it's fabulous. It smells amazing and your face will feel cool, clean, all the things. So exfoliate a couple of times a week and like I said, we have the Satin Mint facial rub. So that's kind of your standard, what you can do. What can you do above and beyond that that will help you avoid or get rid of your mask knee? Here are some suggestions. So I uh, have not tried all of these because like I said, I've really tried to be good about my skincare routine. I'm only using Young Living 100% pure products, no chemicals, no nothing. Um, again, check out the toxic video and see why you want to do that um, on top of the mask knee issue. So here's a few suggestions that I had um, and I got some from a friends who are having some mask knee issues and they've been trying some things. Okay, so pick what you want, see what sounds good. If you have lemon oil, lemon tends to dry things out. Everything underneath your mask is getting oily and you know, more wet and moisture, right? So if you think that's the issue, get a little lemon oil, drop some in your hand, rub it together, and just pat your face, just like this. Get the lemon oil all over, give it some time to set in and dry. But you don't wanna over dry your skin, so this is after your skincare routine. So wash your face, cleanse your face, don't do the moisturizer. Put the lemon all over, give it some time to stay in there and hang out, and then put the moisturizer on top of that. See if that doesn't help dry out some of the, you know, mask knee issues. Okay, where the, some people are really only breaking out at the points where the mask is actually touching their skin. So it would be back here, 
maybe on the top the top of your nose, right underneath your lips, on your chin, something like that. So if you feel like that's your issue, then some people have found that if you put a barrier there, then it's, it's working for them. So some of the things, they have three different things they suggested, three different people using three different things, and this is why Young Living has a variety of products, because it's always, um, everybody's a little different, right? And you like different scents and you like different smells. So the three things are, one is the rose ointment, which can I say, is that amazing? If you have dry skin, if you're having issues with your hands being dry because you're washing them so much, around your cuticles, things like that, the rose ointment is amazing. It is thick and it only takes a little bit off there and you can put it all over your hands. If you have dry spots on your elbows, feet, doesn't matter. And it just is super uber moisturizing, okay? But it's if you put it around these points, don't rub it in all the way. It's actually going to provide a barrier up between your mask and your skin. Does that make sense? The second option is animal sense ointment. Yes, I said animal sense ointment, okay? It's still 100% clean, 100% plant-based, and can be used by humans as well. And I know many people that like the animal sense ointment as much, if not more, than the rose ointment. So the rose is also amazing for your skin in general. So that's an option. Um, the other thing is <laughs> someone is using the lavender lip balm. Okay, so those are very inexpensive little lip balms. Um, and they started putting it on there. She said she started putting it on her lips and then she started going around her lips and then she started drawing it on her chin and doing all these places and it's actually helped her. Um, I will say these are not made of chemicals and man-made products. So if you leave it in the heat, it becomes a very liquidy. I'll also say if you put that in the freezer, it will harden up again. <laughs> Been there, done that, right? So just keep it in your purse, take it in and out with you. Don't let it get super hot. It is. It can get kind of melted. Um, so all three of those would be amazing ways to make kind of a barrier where your mask is actually touching, okay? Another option, like we said, is to moisturize your skin. So after you've cleaned it, you've done the toner, you can moisturize. Um, it's good to not use a super thick moisturizer in this area because it's already um, at risk for kind of clogging and stuff. Um, so the sandalwood moisturizing cream is a very good option and sandalwood does amazing things for your skin. The Art Light Moisturizer, if you just want a little bit on there, not too much, the light, Art Light Moisturizer might be the one that you prefer. That's the one that I have been using. And then there's the brand new Bloom skincare system and it also has a moisturizer in it. So you always, you want to make sure you're moisturizing your skin, even though you're thinking, oh, but it's getting moisture and stuff, but that's bad moisture. We're washing that off and we need to replenish the good moisture in our skin. Um, another option is frankincense or Elemi. Elemi is spelled E-L-E-M-I. It's called the poor man's frankincense because it's a lot cheaper than frankincense, okay? But it has very similar properties to frankincense um, or lavender or clary sage. These are all oils that are good for your skin and you can try the same thing. Again, rub it, put a few drops in your hand, rub it, pat it all over your skin and, and let it sink in and let it stay there overnight before you go to bed. I also know someone instead of using regular moisturizer on their face, they're using the lavender lotion because lavender is also great for your skin. So they do that under their makeup. It's the, the cool thing about Young Living products is that it's so clean that you can take a lotion meant for your body parts from here down and put it on your face and it's totally safe and cool and it will not cause problems, which is awesome. Um, another combo that you can do is get a little spray bottle and put lavender and tea tree in it, both of which are very good. Tea tree is very good for um, any kind of clogged pore. And I say it that way because I have issues sometimes with, um, not on my face, but clogged like hair cells. I don't know if you, but it turns into like a zit or a boil or a whatever, all those things. Um, the tea tree I have found really helps just 
goes away. Can't explain it. I just put tea tree on it a couple, two, three times a day, depending on how bad it is. In a few days, it's gone. So you can put lavender and tea tree in a little spray bottle with some witch hazel and shake. You can put it straight on if you want to. Or if you want to make a little spray, you can put it on there. Guys usually don't mind that smell as much as the florally things like rose. So guys can try that if you want to do that. Or you can put it on underneath. I mean, you can put it on before you put your mask on also in the mornings or whenever you it is that you have to wear your mask. Um, so those are some ideas. Um, I thought it was kind of funny that maskne is an actual thing. The first time I heard it said, I thought the person made it up. And then I went and looked and I'm like, no, this is actually a real thing. Um, so, for those of you out there having mask knee problems, if you need any help um, getting any of these products that I talked about, be sure that you contact me. And you can do that on my website. It is www.essential-diffusion, you have to have the dash, essential-diffusion.com. And there is a contact me button on that page. Also, you could email me at yl.melinda, M-E-L-I-N-D-A, dot lun, L-U-N-N, at gmail.com. And I will be happy to help you talk through what you think your issues are and which one of these options might be best for you. Um, but nobody wants to get sits on their face. I'm 52 years old. I'm not ready to go back to that world. And I know so many people are in the same boat. They're like, ah! I don't want to do this again. So anyway, let's nip mask knee in the bud and have one less thing to worry about. So again, like, look, click on the little heart button below and um, also uh, subscribe so you'll know the next time I have a video out. And it's been fun talking to you. Wear your mask. Be safe. Don't get mask knee. Talk to you guys later. Bye.